everyone it is me I am back with another video and today oh my god I finished my freaking sketchbook y'all this 500 billion page thick boy sketchbook it has taken me like a year and three months but it is finally done and it is time for part three of three of the thick sketchbook tour. Let's get into it. So it was here that we left off all those months ago and we will just get straight into it. Here we have Pirate Amelia and Pirate Adair as part of an alternate universe that literally no one cares about but me. Then we have a little pen sketch of Monty and a sketch of Fern and oh, a little smoochy smoochy smoo. That was weird. <laughs> then this was my attempt at drawing fan art of Shinji from Evangelion and I realized very quickly that my style does not translate into anime. So there's that. Then we have some Pikmin because I was really into playing it at the time. Then we have some more pen sketches of Monty looking fashionable and then having a look through the window at some shoes on sale. And then we have this sketch which was, I had a dream with Arthur from the show Arthur and this is what he looked like in my dream. So I drew that. Then we have some pen sketches of Adair looking cute as hell in like my little jelly bean style. And I turned these into stickers, which you can find on my online store. I will leave the link in the description. And then we have Ping. And oh my god, the anatomy in this drawing is really terrible, but I went straight in with pens, so you can't blame me too much. His face looks nice. Then we have some pen sketches of Sunny, which I did straight in orange pen, and I really love the way they turned out, especially this one. This one captures his overall mood really well. And then a rare image of Sunny smiling. I really like this one the most. That looks the most like him. This one kind of doesn't look anything like him. This one looks exactly like him. <laughs> then here were the Inktober prompts that I was following and this is just a whole page of thumbnails. I really like how this little gel pen hermit crab turned out and then these were more thumbnails for the retro was it retro was that the prompt yes so we have rusty i ended up going with this pose and that's a print on my online store if you want to get yourself a copy and a little thumbnail of what rusty's bedroom would look like as a teenager another pose and then this was a little thing where I thought what would happen if Flex cut all his hair off and the answer is that Rusty would be absolutely horrified. <laughs> he does look kind of cool though I have to admit. <laughs> and then we have this pink pen sketch of Archie looking kind of cute, kind of dopey, I don't know. And then this one of a very young looking Adair, young and sprightly. And then another thumbnail for an Inktober piece. And a backpack, I don't know why that's there. And this drawing of Adair saying, it's you again, to this smiling sunflower. I don't know why that's a thing, but for some reason, at one point I just started associating Adair with this sunflower with a face and he's like the only one who can see it. And I, I don't know, it, I really just don't know. And then we have a barbarian alternate universe version of Archie with little Julie on his shoulders, being all adorable. I should draw more of Barbarian Archie. Look at my mans. Look at him. Gorgeous. And then we have Rusty and a really terrible sketch. Don't look at that one. 
and this is Rusty's parents. This is Tabitha and Arthur, who everyone calls Art, because I like the name Art for my art. <laughs> um, and then we have more thumbnails for an Inktober piece. I really like how Adair looks down here. They're eating spaghetti and he looks really cute. Then we have the Adair Wolf. This was another Inktober prompt and I decided to draw Adair's transformation into becoming a werewolf. Then another thumbnail and a plant and oh my god. <laughs> there was a bug here and it was completely squished into the page. So I was like, well, that's permanent now. I'll just draw a circle around it. And then all of a sudden, one day I opened up, not a trace. The bug is gone. I swear it was like part of the page when I left it. And now there's no trace of it anywhere. So now I look like an idiot with all these arrows and shit all over the page. <laughs> then we have the Powell family. We have Rusty, Adair, Erin, and their mum who who cares about her? She's mean. We just want these three. <laughs> and then an older Adair. Then we have Chipper. Looking Chipper. And this is the scar on the back of his head because I've never drawn that before. So I was like, yeah, let's draw this straight in pen, which was a time, but I like the way it turned out. And then another thumbnail of Adair for Inktober. And another thumbnail, these pants. I saw these pants in real life and I wanted to buy them, but when I put them on, they looked really bad and I was sad. So I just drew my characters in them instead. And then we have this sketch in pen of Adair and he's playing his saxophone because little do some people know, he's a musical genius and he plays saxophone as well as guitar and a little bit of piano, but he's not so good at it and he sings. So he's like a quadruple threat, but he comes from a musical family, so no wonder. Then over here, we have Elijah, who you probably haven't met before unless you are a patron over on my Patreon, where you get to be the first to find out about new characters and see their character designs in the process and stuff like that. So this is Elijah. Welcome, Elijah. If you want to be in the loop about that sort of thing, head on over to my Patreon, link below. Then we have some more pen sketches of Archie. And this one is adorable, if you ask me. This one, not so adorable. He looks high or something. And this of Julie is like the cutest thing I've ever drawn in my life, in my humble opinion. <laughs> and then we have Adair with some eyeliner on and some lipstick on as a teenager. Then we have this sketch, which I like, except I don't like the fact that I started in red pen and went over it with black pen. I think it makes it look messy and gross, but it's fine, can't win them all. Then we have the layout of Chester's cottage and his, what is this? Oh, his granny flat. And then this is what Chester's room looks like on the inside, all planty and beautiful. Then we have this piece of paper that I found and a sketch of Robert the Mime. And then down here we have Adair and Fern. And look at him, he's learning how to plait and he's doing like a really good job. I'm proud of you. So is Fern. Then over here was when I got really into The Crow and don't look at either of these. <laughs> I hate the way that both of those turned out. Oh, maybe this one not so much, but this one is where it's at. He has a really difficult likeness to capture for some reason, especially when you're working straight in pen. So this one was my third attempt and it turned out really good, which is why I highlighted it with orange. And then this one was for a video, which I will link in the eye if you want to go watch that. That was all my plants at the time. And then, oh my God, <laughs> this is when I discovered that they make pink cowboy hats and pink fur coats. So I said, oh my God, we need to get one for Rusty right now. And we also have some like gold tassels over here looking good. And then these two bums at a party being fabulous. Then we have Rusty tying up Flex's hair and the aftermath of that where it turns out looking atrocious, but Flex is like, no, it looks great. It looks fantastic. Then we have another Adair Wolf in pen 
and another Adair wolf in gouache. This is where I realized that if Adair is a werewolf, the whole family should be werewolves. So we have raw, rawsty, and uh, and Erin, who I couldn't think of like a werewolf pun for her name. So if you can think of one, then let me know. And then we have a dare wolf. The OG. Then here is a pencil drawing of Lionel. This took me so long to colour in. This is why I hate just doing things straight in coloured pencil because it just takes so long and it hurts your wrist and you have to sharpen everything so many times. But it turned out kind of cool in the end. Then we have more Adair Wolf. I got obsessed with drawing him for a while. This is like a teen Adair Wolf because he wouldn't have like the full beard and he'd be kind of like gawky and angsty. So that's that. And then we have another Adair, normal teen Adair in some eyeliner because he was a 90s kid and I feel like he would have been like low key grungy, not full grunge because he's like too nervous to commit to that whole thing. But he'd, he'd dabble in a little bit of eyeliner here and there and maybe a little bit of lipstick, and there he be. And then we have a little baby Adair, a little chubby baby Adair, he's so cute. And then another angsty teen Adair in a graveyard. Being angsty, the anatomy's kinda off in this, but overall, I kinda like it. Pretty cool. And then we have Julie meeting their dads drag persona, strawberry shortcake, because it's been a while since I drew strawberry shortcake, so I thought, why not introduce her to Julie? <laughs> then we have some more jelly bean people, got a new sheriff in town, some fishing going on, a big stretch, some plants, some video games, PlayStation 1, might I add. Then some weightlifting, some karaoke, and sharing some secrets. Then we have the many resting faces of my characters because I was just in the mood to draw their different faces. So we've got resting mouth breather face, resting bitch face, resting shocked face, resting dumbass face, Adair's got a resting sad face, resting I'm going to set you on, oop, beep that out, freaking fire face, Resting crazy person face. Resting I'm thriving on four hours sleep face. And a little scratch and sniff sticker in the corner there. Then we have little baby Erin doing some plaits in her dad's hair because I think that would be adorable. And this is how pretty he would look in the end. Then this was when I discovered the Mandalorian and I got obsessed and I drew him and I loved it. And then I had to draw a little baby Yoda with an ice cream because I had a couple of those stickers left over. <laughs> and this was some jazzy ribbon that I found that looked cool and I glued it in. And these, oh my God, I was having a really terrible drawing day. As you can see by Adair's face, it looks weird as heck, but it was Christmas. And yeah, then we have Flex looking interesting i guess and another one of a dare where his eyes are too close together and his nose looks weird but it was straight in pen so i won't go too hard on myself then we have emilio's funeral attire with some flowers and a little watercolor of may trucker alternate universe adair <laughs> which is like exactly the same as normal adair but he drives a truck instead of a car basically and there he be, being all blushy on the road. Then we have Julie trying tomato for the first time. And I personally hate the taste of tomato unless it's in like a sauce or something. So I was like, I hate tomato. So Julie hates tomato. That is that. <laughs> then we have some blushy boys. We've got Felix and Sonny. Another one of Felix and... Sunny, and I love this one of Sunny. If you don't know my characters, Sunny is like a firebender type person, I don't know. So I feel like he'd sizzle when he sits in water. So that was the basis of that. <laughs> and this was the stupidest thing ever, okay? 
You know that meme? It's like, I cannot see or I do not want to see or something like that. I don't even remember. This was meant to be like a really sophisticated drawing and then I wanted to make it a meme by like putting I do not want to see but then I made a mistake and it just looks stupid now. I still like the actual drawing though, to be honest. Just, there we go. And then the rest of these, you might recognize they're all based off paparazzi pictures of Keanu Reeves. So that is that. Then we have Monty looking gorgeous and another Monty and Adair watering his plants. And this was Adair wearing the shirt that I was wearing that day because I thought it would look good on him. So I put it on him. Then we have teen Julie being adorable, experimenting with their clothes because they're a non-binary babe and they like to experiment with clothes and they look gorgeous. Then we have more of the Powells wearing their glasses because little do some people know, Adair needs glasses, he just refuses to wear them. He's just as blind as the rest of the Powells. <laughs> then we have Adair who has ripped his pants and his son Sparky is laughing at him about it because it's hilarious. <laughs> then we have this, this was a thumbnail for like a zine that I was going to do that I'm really not enthusiastic about doing anymore so it's probably not gonna happen. And then this was when we were in the middle of a heat wave and I was like, man, I just need to draw a dare feeling the way that I'm feeling right now. So that's what I did and I really like how this turned out. Then over here, this is a watercolor of Rusty. I don't really like the colors, but it's fine. And then we have Felix trying to deal with Shrimp who is the clown at the freak show and Shrimp is a handful, but they're family so they love each other and it's fine. <laughs> then we have some pen sketches of Archie looking adorable. Then we have a whole page of Flex with all of his emotions because he is a chaotic boyo. I relate to this one <laughs> and this one and this one. I relate to all of them. Am I secretly Flex? I don't know. And then we have this drawing here which was when um, Rusty's mum was going to come over and these two, if you don't know much about them, these two are absolute slobs. So in the last five minutes, they need to clean up like weeks worth of dirt and trash. <laughs> then we have a little, a little Julie and some buff looking Archies because I needed to practice my anatomy so I went and did that. I think he looks pretty good if you ask me. Then we have Chester looking adorable with his little freckles and his little eyes and he's just adorable and pure. Then we have Adair and Emilio dancing in the kitchen and a smoking Archie. Don't smoke people, bad boy. And then it suddenly got cold after the heat wave. So I drew these two going out maybe to the park or something and they need to rug up. Look at how adorable little baby Sparky is in all these layers, it's adorable. Then this is another one of Elijah who is teen Julie's partner, looking adorable. I love them very much. Look at them go. And then some pen sketches I did at work and glued in and then we have Julie and some pins that I was going to make. Oh, I can show you those now. So these are all of the pins that I made that you can find on my online store. I was going to go to a convention, which is why I made them all, and then the convention got cancelled. So they're on my online store now. I also have a pansexual pride pin, but I sold it, so I have to make another one. So that's still available, I just have to make more. And if you don't see your pride flag here, there's an option for other, and then you just just type into the shipping notes like whatever your flag is and I will make one for you. And there we go, on my online store, link in the description. And then I'm going to skip this page because that was a page that I put up for my $5 patrons. So it's Patreon exclusive over here. So we're just gonna look at this page. We have, these were pin designs that I was going to do. I only ended up doing the avocado and the watermelon 
but let me know if you want to see the rest of these pins because I can make those. And then we have Flex, kind of like a close-up on this man with all these smile lines because Flex has like a contagious smile and I wanted to portray that properly for once. Then we have a piece of paper and some more pirates, which this turned out really bad in my opinion, but I still like it. They're pirates, I love them. Adair is the captain in this AU and Emilio is like a stowaway that nearly got thrown overboard, but the captain was like, hmm. Maybe not, he's kinda cute. And then we have some Lionels. I can't even say Lionel properly, so I just call him Nelly or Nell. And yeah, he looks adorable. This is the first time I've ever drawn him in yellow and I absolutely love him in yellow. I didn't think he'd look good, but I love him. He looks adorable. And then this is the final spread, which apparently I didn't finish. But we have Shabba. Okay, there is a story behind Shabba. Um, basically, I only have a cassette player in my car and it's hard to come by decent cassettes these days. And my mum picked up the best of ABBA, which came with four cassettes. So I've just been listening to nothing but ABBA recently because I have nothing else. So I thought about what if the Powells got together they created their own ABBA cover band, maybe for like one night only, and they'd be called Shabba because they're history's shabbiest ABBA cover band. They'd have the worst costumes ever, the worst wigs, but the problem is I drew Adair in drag because there's only, like Erin's the only other lady in the family, so like we needed an Agnetha. So I was like, yeah, Adair can be Agnetha or however you say her name. He wasn't meant to look good, y'all. <laughs> he was meant to look shabby and like really badly put together, but he looks good. Like what? I, I'm devastated. I even put his chest hair in trying to make him look worse and he ended up looking good. And I'm like, Shabba isn't shabby without you looking bad, okay? Why do you have to look pretty? And then I drew them all together and they look just as good together. And I was like, fine. I'm giving up. Shabba isn't shabby. It's fine. <laughs> then we have Rusty singing Lizzo and it is canon that Rusty is obsessed with Post Malone but it wasn't until I drew this that I was like, my man's obsessed with Lizzo too. I can see it in his eyes. Like he is getting into this song y'all. <laughs> and then up here is a pencil sketch thing of someone laying down just to fill in the space, I guess. <laughs> then over here, I glued in all of my characters for like a quick reference, but then I made more characters, y'all. All of the characters here, that stops there. Look at all the extra characters I have made, y'all. Oh! <laughs> and then we have this little envelope that I glued in to keep things in. What have we got in here? Oh, we've got a lot of stuff in here. So we have this jazzy piece of paper that I got when I ordered something from an artist. Some of my business cards, a piece of paper, a piece of a paper bag, <laughs> a piece of ribbon. And then we have all of these leaves from when the bushfires were on and they were just like blowing into our yard. Oh, and these are the rest of the stickers, the scratch and sniff stickers. And then these I cut out from some wrapping paper that my friend made for me when they gave me a gift. And I was like, I can't throw that out. So I cut all of the pictures out of it. <laughs> and then lastly, this was my swatch page. As you can see, all my swatches started off really nice. And then as I progressed, they got real messy. I've even got a Shinji over here losing his eyebrows. What is that? I don't even know what that is. That's just a loose piece of paper with a weird hairstyle drawn on it. I'm gonna go back in real quick and finish this off on camera just because once I've filmed a sketchbook tour, that sort of like solidifies for me the sketchbook is over, but I can't move on until this page is finished. Also, I don't want to move on without showing you all what this turns out like. So what better way to do it than to do it on camera? I'm pretty sure this was going to be Flex, but it, whether it was or not, it's going to be him now. There's his little face, his ear. We'll put an earring on there. Put his hair on. Oh wow, I just gave him a lot more hair than he usually has. That's fine. He can have more hair. 
it can cover up his hand so I don't have to draw that. <laughs> While I'm sitting here drawing this, I'll take this chance to ask you what sort of videos you all want to see. Because I really like making videos and I don't want to go into the whole virus thing, but obviously we're all doing the self-isolation thing and I would like to spend that time making more videos. So if you have any ideas of videos that you'd like to see in the future, then please let me know and I will get on that. I don't know why I've just put him in booty shorts, but who cares? He rocks those booty shorts. Give him some leg hairs. And there we go. The sketchbook is complete. Not very well, but maybe I should put more effort in. Okay, I just made it look like I put even less effort in, but that's fine. The sketchbook is officially complete. Done. Dusted. And we can move on to the next one, finally! <laughs> so that is it for today's video. Like I said earlier, let me know in the comments down below what sort of videos you'd like to see in the future because I have got nothing but time on my hands right now. And if you want to support me, you can head over to my Patreon or pick something up at my online store because I've just updated it with a whole bunch of prints, a whole bunch of pins and some stickers. So head on over to there if you're interested. And yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.